All right, well, let's keep going. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is, uh, first off, write a little piece of code that makes this motor stop. Um, take a look at the same piece of code we left you, uh, or I left you with. I did comment it quite a bit, and I've also put in here the actual truth table, okay, just like the one that we had here. And uh, I want to show you this, too. If you have a bunch of stuff you want to comment out, you can do it with the slash star, all right? The slash star will comment out everything until it reaches the star slash. So you watch, if I get rid of that, then everything is gray. It's all commented out. Put the star back in, and now we have commented out only this section. But we want to make this silly thing stop, because it's driving me crazy. So we want to write another subroutine in here. And let's put it maybe right here. And let's make it uh, something that would be useful right now, like uh, stop bot. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go with stop bot. And I'm going to make this low. OK. And let's go down here. Watch this. I'm going to select all of this. If you hold down the control key, and forward slash, control, forward slash, come out everything. Which is nice because, well here, watch this. Let's write in our stop bot. First off, let's get this thing quieted down. Come on, go, 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 go. Strike me crazy. Finally some peace. Um, if you see the stop bot, all right, or what I actually want to show you is if I want to bring this back really quick, okay, I'm going to put this cursor anywhere, right in the middle of stop bot, and I'm going to hit the control forward slash, and now I'm going to take my mouse, and I'm just going to take and clump it anywhere on there, and control forward slash, and it brings it all right back, so I can load it up and we're back to that obnoxious spinning motor control slash move up one to the top line control slash run it okay so we want to hook up a second motor um, to do that we need to run let's I'll go back to our diagram here and I think this was a good one okay so right now we effectively have this hooked up. We have both. We have the chip powered. We have this enable powered. We have this and uh, motor supply powered. Of course, this one is powered. So this whole line is done. Obviously, we have motor over here. We have our motor hooked up. I'm sorry, here. And of course, we have the control line. So what we need to do now is hook up C, D, and the second motor. We have to hook up this, this, this. Wait, I can't see it. This, 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 and this. The two nearest the ground are going to be our second motor. And these other two are going to be control. Now, I'm going to do something. I'm going to pause it. So... I'm actually going to, because I don't want my board all cluttered, I'm going to run the wires that go to here and here, the two other control lines that run the direction motor, actually underneath the chip. Okay, I'm going to feed it right underneath and then hook it into these first two. And I'll show you in a second. But let me go ahead, first off, take that down. And I usually use a little Allen wrench, which is currently eluding me. So maybe I'll pause. Oh, here we go. And gently pop that up. Okay. Don't want to scratch it or anything if we can avoid it, because we don't. There are chips and electronics on the bottom. Okay. And let's pause right there, and I'll work on this wires, and I'll catch you in a second. Okay, it looks like we've got it. Um, so what I've done here is I've taken these two wires 
Now remember, the original ones, the ones that I had done in yellow, were hooked up to pin 0 and pin 1. I now have it hooked up to pins 2 and pin 3, and these go over here to the two control lines. Okay, So I can now reinsert the chip. We've got these two to help us mark positions. We know these are at the very, very top of the chip, which makes it handy. Oh, and also I should point out, See, I've given myself an easy full row here. Okay, these are these two are hooked up on the innermost, so I can easily put this, for example, there, like or here, I'll go here. Okay, and I've slotted that in there and seated it down. Okay, let's get that so you can see it a little bit better. And of course, we have another motor, and this motor is going to go on the two pins that are closest to the ground. All right, we'll jump back to our diagram. Okay, these two pins right here are the ones we're gonna, because these two are hooked to ground, the ones right next to it. So let me get rid of that. And I'll plug this in. It's gonna be like here, and it's gonna be like here. Okay, how easy is that? Oh, I should move. I'm going to move my little wire, my little blocker. And can we get it all in the view? I might have to raise my camera in a moment. I'll raise my camera in just a few. Put it like that. Okay, so let's go to our code. You can probably figure this is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, we can simply copy and paste this because we now have two more pens. And um, I think, logically, we should call these right. And we'll call that one right. And we said they're hook up to pins 2 and 3. And of course, this is right. And this is right. OK. And same thing here. We can copy and paste these two lines. And we now have to turn this to right and this to right. Okay, so we've defined our pins. We've set their output direction. Um, let's put an L in front of this. Um, so we know we're talking about the left. And this is going to be left. Oops. Capital L underscore. And we'll make this one our left. And now I think all we really want to do is. Wow, I think we can actually just copy all three of those. Okay. And paste it down here. Oops. What do you mean it doesn't contain? Nah, what did I do? Control C. There we go. And we want to make this a right. And this a right. And this a right. And we need to make this. I'm just going to copy that. Right. 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 Okay. That looks pretty good. So let's go down to here. Let's go ahead and uncheck that. And bring this back. We need to add those left. And this left. Okay. And let's copy and paste this. And we'll make this the right. And this the right. And then let's throw 
after we've done rotated the left for a little bit, let's stop it. And then let's end this. And we'll do a right um, underscore uh, stop bot. Gosh. Code is pretty fast and easy. All right, I think we're good. Notice I didn't put a time delay underneath here. It's going to run. It's going to run left uh, for one second. And then it's going to go counterclockwise for one second. Then it's going to stop. And it's going to immediately jump over to the right, run it, and then switch directions, run it. And then we're going to stop it. And it's going to loop back. So what we should see is both of those motors going and taking turns running. So let's plug this in. And at the moment I'm scanning, I don't see anything that I've done wrong. So let's load it up. Wow. Now I got a little lucky here, okay? If you'll notice, I'm gonna move these motors. Okay. This one, the one we originally hooked up, is turning clockwise and then counterclockwise. And then this one, this is a new one, it's turning clockwise and then counterclockwise. Now, had that not worked, had this new one switched directions, you know what we could have done? Two things. One is we could have flipped these. So this was high, low, and this would have been uh, low, high, or we could have unplugged these two wires here and simply flip them around, okay? They would have both had the same effect. We would have switched directions. All right, on this next video, I think I'm going to um, change my camera angle and height so I get more field of view. And we're gonna be building a robot here really soon. So I will see you shortly.